Okay, so made a little pinhole camera. There, it's got a little flappy thing on the front with tiny hole poked and magnets to hold it shut. So also very helpfully put some vaguely spaced dots in the middle there so that I can put in some photo paper. This is just blue tack. That's just gonna hold the paper. So that's light sensitive paper. I'm gonna have to load it in inside this very, this is the darkest place I can get in the entire flat, which is this hallway with all the doors closed. And it's still actually quite bright in here. Like there's still, you, know, you can sort of see some of the light anyway. But, so I'm actually gonna do it inside the cupboard, like with my hands in here and my body blocking as much of the door as possible so that I can like, yeah, block out as much light as possible and hopefully take a photo. All right, so if you're ever working with these, it seems like, so this, the flap is folded that way and this side is the f glossy side. So the side away from where it opens or the fold is the glossy side. And the glossy side, I'm pretty sure, is the side that's got the actual light sensitive chemicals on it. So it's been loaded up. I did sort of cheat and use my phone with like a red light, but it was down the end of that hallway with the me blocking as much of the light as I can, other than the tiny bit of red light coming off my phone. So now I'm just gonna go find somewhere bright, sit, and I guess take a photo of myself. We'll see how it goes. All right, so I put it on that post thing and I'm gonna stand over pretty much where that bench is and hopefully I can get something to come out. The sun should be up there somewhere. No, the sun's there, but a whole lot of cloud cover going on. So I'm probably gonna have to let this sit there for like three or four minutes maybe. I don't know, there's no, I don't really know how long this is gonna take. So I'm just gonna go for four minutes and assume it's gonna be good. Okay, so that's it done. I actually set the timer for five minutes because it was kind of overcast when I started. The sun came out in the last couple of minutes. Uh, I actually stood there for six minutes because for some reason the timers on Android have started doing this really cool thing where they don't actually set off an alarm unless you're looking at them. So at about the six minute mark I was like, oh, I wonder how much longer I've actually got to go. And then I opened up the timer and the alarm started going off and told me I'd been there for a minute too long. So that's cool. So hopefully it doesn't come up too overexposed, although I'm pretty sure with the uh, not great lighting conditions, it'll probably probably even be uh, underexposed. So, I don't know. Let's get this back and see how it goes. Okay, so I've got about 10 grams of mint steeping in about 200 mils of hot water. Finally have a use for this French press. I'm supposed to use about effectively four of these vitamin C tablets because these only got what is it they're 500 milligrams it's supposed to put like two gra two thousand milligrams so about two grams but I've also seen that vitamin C is like optional so I'm just gonna undershoot it and I'll eventually add some washing soda I think it was it sodium carbonate there it is yeah sodium carbonate into that and then mix these two together, and that'll be my, the first bath. I don't know what it's called. I don't know, developer or something. Any but, that's gonna be that. All right, so I didn't expect this, but I thought I'd show it, because it's actually pretty cool. Um, basically, I've got the really, really strong mint tea in there. This is the vitamin C and the sodium carbonate. Now, there's a bit of a precipitate, precipitate that Sort of chilling down the bottom. I don't know if it comes through in the video, but basically, I'm not sure if that's sodium carbonate that hasn't um, dissolved, or if it's the binding stuff they use to make the tablets bigger than like tiny, because like we're talking like half a gram of vitamin C in these tablets. So, anyway, what I was going to show you was as we add the pretty sure relatively basic. Um, thingy into this, it's, see if I can get this all on shot at once, you can see it reacting in real time. It also makes it slightly darker, so, I don't know, 
I just think it's cool. Ooh. And those bubbles have a yellow tint. If my camera would focus on them. And by camera, I mean phone. I guess that's just the um, unreacted this stuff in a very thin film around some air. And it's probably very slowly reacting with the um, mint, <laughs> the incredibly strong mint tea. But anyway, let's just finish adding the rest of this. I'm just sort of hoping it doesn't accidentally, like, over yellow it. I don't know what the term you want to use. Alright, well, that's just mostly precipitated at this point. See, like, it's all weird and white. Oop. Yeah. Anyway, so that is the developer bath. Yeah, the rest of that's just, like, goopy. Alright, and, oh, and this is the s stop bath, which is, I've used, it says to use lemon juice, I've just used citric acid, like, in granular form, which is really frustrating, because, um, the recipe calls for one teaspoon of lemon juice in 200 mils of water. This stuff, uh, where is it? The ratio is... A quarter teaspoon of this is one tablespoon of lemon juice, so I've basically got like grains worth of this in there, and hopefully it won't be too acidic. I don't think it'll matter too much. I think it's just a stop bath, so it's not gonna. Um, it shouldn't react too badly. I don't know. It, it should just change the processing speed. Yeah, whatever. Same like this. I don't really care how accurate it is in terms of. Measurements. I am also not too concerned about the precipitate. We'll just assume it works. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to do the um, work in this room as well because my flatmates are here now, so I can't just lock off that hallway and shut all the lights off. So I'm going to have to find somewhere in my room that is as dark as possible. So bear with me on that front. Alright, so I've managed to, with a bit of careful positioning of shirts and towels and stuff, there's a corner of my closet that I can make very, very dark. Obviously, darker when the light's not on, but that's alright. It's almost as dark as outside in the hallway, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get myself set up in there. I have, like, a full hand width of space in there, so that's cool. That'll be fun to work with, I'm sure. Okay, so a bit of a good news, bad news situation. The good news, the photo paper definitely works. Uh, bad news is, definitely, definitely, definitely overexposed. Um, but that's fine. The important thing is that I managed to get the, the paper to turn black and develop, I suppose. So, I'll probably try to take another photo just inside my room just to see what happens, because apparently... Um, you can do it inside, it just takes a lot longer. So maybe my five minute time would probably work for inside, but, you know. The paper changed, and I think my developer worked. Okay, after quite a bit more work, it's worked. So this is down to like 30 second exposure, so I was way over. But, you can see it. It's inverted, but you can see it. And you can just barely make my shirt out. You can see this cloud the sky through the trees it's all inverted so I'll take a photo of this and invert it and I'll chuck it in here or maybe I can just chuck an invert filter um, you'll find out if this is inverted at the moment but I'm pretty happy with that so yeah I'd call that a rousing success it only took you know a couple of shots okay so I've added some extra little features now, the only real thing is I've added some little alignment pins inside, so just these little brass tacks, or dumb tacks I guess they are, and just something so it's easy to align, because I found that the blue tack, Jesus Christ, focus your fucking thing. Anyway, it's a, uh, the blue tack is handy to just stick in there, but it's hard to align it with the pinhole, because the blue tack kind of has to be in the center of the thing, rather than just you know, anywhere. So yeah, I put those through and just cut off the backs and tape them in. And now, 
it is version 1.1. So yeah. Pretty happy with that. I did show you that before. Um, I attempted to make a selfie. Hold on. I tried to take a selfie, but it didn't really work. You can kind of see my face down here, but it's not, not fantastic. Anyway, that's probably going to be the end of it.